thoughts on Keegan not playing the final nine minutes? Yeah, I was I was surprised by it. Um, I think you could have made the case get him in at some point during that stretch instead of Barnes. I thought HB okay. had a rough rough outing. I thought. I mean, I thought even late some of the sh- shot selection. I know Brown said he thought he got fouled. The league looked at it in the last two minutes, I believe, and I think that was clear. That was not a foul unless that happened before the, the last two minutes. Am I wrong on that? I don't know. Either way, I just felt like. Keegan, when he's out there, even though he's a rookie and we're so in the early stages of his career, I just feel like he's going to make the right play. Yeah. Like he's not going to force a shot, yeah. right? He's going to take the right shot. He's going to make the right pass. He's going to make the right decision. And I even think defensively, like he, he adds something too with his size. He's shown early in the season. He could block some shots. He had two blocks last night and for us poorly as maybe some thought he played. If you look at the plus minus, he had the highest plus minus of any starter last night. So I would have liked to see him, but maybe it was a teaching lesson. I don't know. He still adds value just being out there. And so I'm I'm not going to sit here today and be like, what the hell are you doing, Mike Brown? But I also look at everything. And I go, OK, Mike Brown is still trying to figure out his identity around the rotations and what he wants to set for his rotations, whether De'Aaron Fox is in or not, you know, not seeing Keegan Murray play in those last minutes usually means like, Hey, I don't trust you as a coach where in this situation, I was shocked that he wouldn't trust Keegan Murray's ability of just being out there. Um, But another one I just want to throw in there because I mentioned this to Deuce was Casey Akpala why did we see him start in the beginning of this season? And then his identity is, hey, I'm the defensive guy. I'm going to lock down Dame or Paul George or LeBron James. Throw anyone at me. And then you don't have him in these big defensive moments when you need to shut down Tyler Hero, which Terrence Davis did a fantastic job contesting a um, mm-hmm. shot that was traveled, um, that mm-hmm. he did travel on, you know. But still, I, I don't know. Just that that late game execution, even with those rotations I'm not worried about because I'm still like it's all still fresh and new yeah I uh that's an excellent point about KZ Akpala and I, I think about specifically that in the fourth quarter Tyler Hero was cooking I mean mm-hmm. Tyler Tyler Hero I I love his game I love his ability he's one of the the great young shot makers in the league today in my opinion like he he can score on all three levels but there was a pet peeve of mine I talked about it earlier in the show and it's not necessarily a Kings thing. I think it's an NBA thing that I just don't understand. But you have that final play. Davion Mitchell comes out on, on Tyler Hero. They come and bring this faux screen from Gabe Vincent. And the Kings just fall into a switch. Just switch Terrence automatically. Davis, yeah, Terrence did, a, Terrence did a really good job uh, defending. He did everything you could go, do as a defender. So maybe it wouldn't have mattered. But at the end of the day, you're still giving the offense what they want. That screen and that switch came for a reason because Tyler didn't want to go one-on-one against Davion Mitchell. I don't know if it's Davion's call, Mike Brown's call. Like I said, it's really an NBA thing. But why not try to fight over that screen to not give them, just willfully give them what they want in that situation? Fight, keep Davion on Tyler Hero right there. I agree with that. I mean, it's too easy. It was too easy to get that switch. And it's like, don't switch. Don't switch it. Fight through it. We, we've we seen Davion blow up screens. He's capable of doing so, it. So, like, he's definitely capable of doing it. I, Davis did recover well. And for him to even contest it based on the fact that, you know, Hero travels, takes extra steps, I thought yeah. that was impressive. But yeah, he recovered so well, shot. he forced him to travel. <laughs> Damn, yeah. man. How good yeah. of a he was, he forced him to travel. <sighs> That's so How do you miss that call, though? Like, I, it's one thing live for us not to notice, but the official is supposed to be looking at his feet. He's like, supposed I, to be looking at the feet right to make there. sure he's not that's on the weird. line. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the, that's that's weird to me because yeah. I, I, I kind of stalled him out a little bit. Like, I didn't I didn't see it. And then I realized yeah. his hand went up. Yeah, he was looking like he, that. As you said, more, that's very literally his job. Like he was <laughs> looking at it. And yeah. he put his hands right up, so it's not like he was guessing, and we'll review it later. He was looking right at it, yeah. and I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't have an. Ex-